Let's take a walk through the code in this LabVIEW project. I'll begin by looking at FPGA main. This VI contains a single process loop. It's a single cycle timed loop that contains one counter that generates a clock enable pulse and a second counter, which is our four bit up counter. The bits are broken up and then piped out to four digital outputs on the FPGA. As is typical for FPGA VIs, it just runs perpetually. Let's begin by configuring a Xilinx IP block for the enable pulse. Find basic elements and then binary counter. Let me take a moment to draw your attention to all of the cool functionality in here and really encourage you to explore all the possibilities for Xilinx IP blocks. Now we'd like to get this functionality. I'll start by double clicking. We'll hit configure. Can take a little bit of time. The output width needs to be 25 bits. And we're going to restrict the count to this particular hexadecimal number, which is the same thing as 20 million cycles. We need a synchronous threshold output, and every time the counter sees one, then it activates that output. You can uh, take a look at some options in terms of using resources on the FPGA. I encourage you to explore using the fabric versus using some of the DSP48 modules. All right, there's some additional control options that I'm not going to be using here. We have just a few more steps. Clock signal is properly assigned. There is no asynchronous nor synchronous reset. I, didn't, I did not add one of those. Both of the signals are called outputs. And that looks correct. Let's use the same binary counter, but now configure it as a four bit binary up counter. So the output width is four, increment value is one. I would like to use the clock enable. Just draw your attention to the fact that the little graphic updates as you make various modifications to the signals that you need. All right, the clock signal is CLK. The enable signal is CE. We did not configure for either types of reset Clock enable is an input, and the output is called Q.